everyone, it's Mary here. Welcome back for another video. Today I went to Walmart and Rouse's supermarket and I have a huge haul to show you guys. Um, some of it is for the prepper pantry, so I'm gonna show you guys that when I get to that area. But yeah, I had to, you know, just stock up on snacks that we eat. My daughter is off of school all next week due to Easter and spring break. So I kind of had to, you know, get groceries for that, have some snacks, quick meals for that, you know. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so some items for the prepper pantry, okay? Well, I don't know if I'm gonna put this in the prepper pantry because I might make a meal out of this right now. I do wanna try it and see if it's good. I've heard good things about this Rayo's um, pasta sauce and noodles, so I wanna try the linguine. I got that. This is for the prepper pantry. Another thing of pink salmon in a can, the Best Buy date, June 2027. So that's a really good Best Buy date, you know, for the prepper pantry. Uh, a big can of Goya Pinto beans. This had a really good Best Buy date. I'm always surprised with the Goya canned goods. Their Best Buy date is like a lot better than the other brands. I'm just going to say that right now. But the Best Buy date is March 2028. That's really good, y'all. I got one can of chicken. This is the shredded chicken, which I never knew or seen this before, the shredded chicken. So I got a can of this. I need to kind of go through my canned meat stockpile and kind of um pull things out that is past the best by date use that now you know i do like to rotate through my stuff even though it's good way past the best by date i just like to keep it in good rotation so i need to do that soon but yeah i never knew they had shredded chicken breast okay i got two cans of the great value beef gravy right here we like to make the roast beef po boy, so we like to use a lot of beef gravy. Then I got three cans of the Campbell's beef gravy. I would like to compare the two to see what the difference is. I know like it's mostly the same thing for the most part, but sometimes there is a big difference between the name brand and the great value brand. So I just want to see if it is the case with this. If not, I'll buy more. Um, okay, so I got three cans of the solid white albacore tuna and water. I got this, the Zatarain's Long Grain and Wild Rice. This is really good. This is something I want to kind of try right now to see if I like it. This is the Mediterranean Inspired Tuna Bowl with Brown Rice. Just something I, I think you can put it in the microwave or eat it cold. I'm not sure. That looked pretty good. Okay, so that's my canned goods. I got a big jar of the Prego flavored with meat sauce. This is like one of the best sauces right here is the Prego flavored with meat, a small thing of basmati rice to put in my kitchen and use now, actually. My, I'm sorry, my dog is barking in the background. Uh, a, what is this, two pound bag of the Great Northern Beans. I'm going to put these in my bags right here. Then a two pound bag of the Red Kidney Beans, okay? I got this little sauce kit. This is the Street Kitchen Japanese Teriyaki Chicken, so I'm going to cook this up for dinner one night. That looks really, really good. Um, this is just a list of the other stuff you need right here, which I have already. I already got the jasmine rice for it. Um, look, a tiny little lint brush roller. <laughs> I'm always having dog hair on me. My dog, I mean, she's not just a normal hairy dog. Like, she's super, super hairy. I mean, layers and layers of hair. It's just, it's, I, I brush her constantly, you know. Um, I got that brush that kind of like desheds her. It still does not help. So I have to keep this little one in my car. So I always have one. This one right here is for at home. I just hope it doesn't fall apart like the little end cap right here. I hope it doesn't come off because I had one that keeps falling apart every time I use it. I'm sorry, y'all. She's still barking. Okay, this I've never tried before, okay? I do like the little flavor packets, but I never tried these right here. This is the liquid IV, and this is the drip drop ores um, dehydration relief fast. This is the hydration multiplier. So I guess like one stick, faster hydration than water alone. I'm gonna try this and see if I like it. This was kind of expensive. I think it was like $8 and something cents for only a pack of six. This, um, I don't know how much this one was, but it's eight sticks and there's different flavors in here. That's why I got this one. It has the different flavors. But yeah, this is the back right here. It should help with all these dehydration signs. Um, when you exercise, when you're out in the heat, all that kind of stuff. So I figured this might be good to try. If I like it, I do need to stock up on more because this would be an awesome prep to have in your prepper pantry. The best buy date for it is August 2024. I'm sure it'll last past the best by date, you know. Okay, so that's what I got. A scrub mommy for the kitchen. Um, just some 
face wash right here. Got that, some freezer bags because I wanna go to Sam's Club, buy big packs of meat and just put it in smaller little bags right here and freeze it, you know? So I just have a small little portion when I wanna eat something that my daughter doesn't wanna eat or vice versa, you know? Uh, toilet bowl cleaner, <laughs> Lysol, um, some Glade scents for the house, lemon fresh and Hawaiian fresh. I got this little body spray. It smells really good. I got that to put in my daughter's Easter basket for Easter. A hair gel. This is one of my favorite hair gels right here is the Not Your Mother's Frizz Control Curl Talk. Um, mascara. I heard this mascara is really good. The L'Oreal Telescopic. Got that. I got a Wet n Wild Boost Me Up Brow and Lash Serum Gel I've been wanting to try. More hair gel. <laughs> uh, bleach for laundry, you know, when I wash white towels and white sheets and stuff like that. Um, a Swifter duster kit. This one I actually need to keep in my car. Just keep it in my car, cause y'all, I dust my car. Like when, the, when you pull the tissue out from the tissue box, I got that dust from the tissue that goes all over my dashboard. I cannot stand that. And usually I don't even keep tissues in my car because that reason I keep a uh, little tiny napkins. Um, it works a lot better, but sometimes I don't have them and I have to use the tissues in my purse. And then when you pull one out, it's just dust all over. This, I mean, it works just as good in your car as you would use it in your home, you know? Okay, the Boom Chicka Pop Sea Salt Popcorn. This is so good, so good. Over here, I got some cucumbers, bell peppers, more bell peppers, and I have an onion. Yeah, one onion right there. That's gonna be used to go with this little kit when I make it. All right, so right here, I have this chicken tikka masala. I have no idea what the heck this is, but I've heard of this before, like just on TV or something, you know? Um, and I've always been curious to try it. So I'm going to try this. Um, Y'all, I don't even know. Is this like an Indian food? I don't know. Excuse my ignorance, but I just don't know. <laughs> um, so I can't wait to try this. I might try this tonight for dinner. Uh, I got two of these, one for me, one for my daughter. Just an easy, quick meal. These are pretty good, the macaroni and beef. And I got one of these right here. This, oh, I love some stuffed bell peppers. I'll make this for dinner one night also. Um, over here, okay, so I'm going to be cooking for Easter. I'm going to throw this in the oven for Easter. What we're having is just roast gravy, um, like corn and peas, rolls, um, you know, stuff like that. Something easy and quick you can just throw in the oven. Don't You don't have to really stay in the kitchen all day for Easter. But I got two roasts. Um, this is the apple. What is it? I can't read it, y'all. I'm sorry. This is the apple wood smoked bacon roast. Um, so this one's roasted garlic and herb. And we had these before. They're really, really good, okay? Okay, and I also have one pack of the smoked sausage. This is gonna be for when I make sausage and green beans over rice one night. Pack of hot dogs, the natural turkey ones. Pack of cheese, just some snacks, you know, for my daughter, some cheese. More cheese, the Fiesta blend. That's gonna be for something I'm gonna cook one night. And the taco blend for taco night. This is the shrimp fried rice. Just pop in the microwave. These are really good. I like these. Uh, sour cream for taco night. My little yogurts. I love these yogurts. The m &M and vanilla yogurt. Really good. Okay. This is some yogurts for my daughter right here. The cookies and cream. Mint chocolate chip. S'mores. And then the strawberry cheesecake. I want to try that strawberry cheesecake. <laughs> that looks good. Uh, two salads. This actually came from Rouse's. So I bought two salads from Rouse's. That's my salad right there. Okay, I went through that. Um, an unsweet iced tea. We've been drinking a lot of unsweet iced tea lately. Usually I'd make it, but I just have not been in the mood to make tea lately. 1% uh, milk. I'm going back to my Starbucks coffee because what I've been using lately, I just, my it outgrew my taste. Like I just don't, I don't care for it too much anymore, you know? Um, so I'm hoping this will get my little cold coffee kick back, you know? <laughs> uh, some orange juice. I like this Simply Light 50 a lot better than a Trop. Chop 50 is it called? But this one, I don't know. I like this one a lot better for some reason. I don't know what. I just, I just do. Okay, over here, these little peanut butter bites. Actually, I like to keep this in the car for, you know, just a snack when we're hungry and just not home to eat, you know, eat that on the go. Some honey buns, taco shells. I stocked up on some taco shells. I do want to make tacos one night. We love some tacos around here. So the Taco Bell kind and then the old El Paso. Here's one water. I have more waters over there. I'll show you guys. I got the 7-Up Zero Sugar and the Canada Dry Ginger Ale Zero Sugar. They did not have my Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar, so I still need to look out for that. Okay, I got my Gatorade Zero Sugar. I love those. 
some high C's for my daughter. These don't last long at all, but they're really good and tasty. So I got one pack of that and one pack of the uh, Capri Suns Tropical Tide. I like those. Those are really, really good. Okay, so over here, some salsa. Oh, I have a bag of Tostita chips. I have to. I already put that up, though. Um, like, all the chips that I'm going to show you guys over here, I'm putting that up. I'm not letting that out <laughs> in the pantry all at once because my daughter will open every single last one and they'll get stale really quick. So, yes, it's a lot of chips over here. I'm going to show you guys. It's a lot, but I'm going to put it up and lock it up, you know, and we're just going to have She'll have one bag, I'll have one bag, you know, we'll each have our favorite one at a time. Um, that's just what I like to do, because if not, it'll go stale, or she'll leave it open, and then I'm like, uh, it's really stale now, you know? Okay, so I got that, the Zero Net Carb Miniature Tortillas for Taco Night, you know? I'm gonna do that. My daughter likes these little drinks from Mexico, so this one is like the Mandarin, and then this is the Fruit Punch. Got that. She requested for me to stock up on spicy ramen, so I did that. The two at the bottom is for me, because um, I don't really like the spicy ones, but those are hers that she'll have for her little snacks during the whole week she's off, you know, that's what she wants. Um, apple juice, this is the 40% less sugar apple juice. Oop, I'm dropping stuff over here. Okay, this water came from Rouse's and this pineapple came from Rouse's dog food. I had to get dog food. My little Roxanne, y'all, my little baby, she had went and gotten her teeth cleaned recently, okay? So she went and gotten her teeth cleaned and they pulled, y'all, they pulled nine teeth. Nine teeth on that little baby girl's mouth. So that was about a week ago from, yeah, a week ago from today, from the day I'm filming this. One week and so she, i've been feeding her nothing but soft food that she can eat she is on pain medicine i think today was her last day i had to give her her pain medicine but yeah nine teeth y'all um poor little girl i just i still can't believe that i mean her teeth did not look like they needed to be pulled but they took x-rays and they said yeah and some of them are loose and all like you just never know i really it's hard to believe they had to pull nine but i don't i don't know they said if you don't do it now she'll probably We'll have to come back in a couple years and get them pulled because this is going to give her trouble. So anyways, that was a little side story. Okay, over here. Oh, y'all, these are so good. These little El Monterey, um, the beef, bean, and cheese chimichangas. So I'm going to keep, I bought two packs, okay? There are eight in each pack. I'm just going to keep one in the freezer. I'm going to keep them both in the freezer, but one's going to be for us to snack on. But the other one I'm going to make into a meal. I'm going to put cheese on it and some sauce over it and stuff like that. It's going to be really, really good. Okay, all of this is my water. I got four, no, I got five gallons of water. One's on the table. This is what I wanted, the cheddar jalapeno chips. That's a little painting that my daughter painted. She's she's really good into um painting right now. She loves to paint, and she's getting better and better at it. So she did that one for me, and I love it. Um, It was just recently her birthday. So um, one of my brothers got her tons and tons of art supplies, so, I mean, she just loves to draw. Like, she's really into that, you know? Um, and I love it when she draws something or paints something for me. So, of course, I'm going to put it there. All right, chips, more chips, sour cream and onion, spicy ones for my daughter. Um, I feel like something else is in here. Um, oh, these are for me, the honey barbecue, and then those two are for my daughter. Okay, more Raymond. Okay, so that is my haul right here. Um, oh, I do need to insert that clip that little short video clip of my lemon tree. I want to show you guys my lemon tree. It's already starting to grow lemons. It's so cute, y'all. I love little fruit trees. 